Hello, Year 8. Thank you for joining me again for our next lesson on probability. Before we get started, let's warm up your brains with a quick riddle. I want you to figure out what is the next letter in this pattern. So pause the video, see if you can figure out what the next letter but after N is going to be. If you think you have an idea, let me know in the comments. And if you're correct, I will pin your comment. All right, to start us off, here is a flashback question from the last video. We have let A represent rolling a multiple of three on a standard dice, so standard six-sided dice. Find the probability of the complement of A. All right, so hopefully you've paused the video and had a go yourself. So first of all, the probability of rolling a multiple of three, well, the multiples of three would be three and six, yeah? Three times one and three times two. So the probability of doing that would be two out of six, two options out of six possibilities which is a third, of course. So if that's the probability that we roll a multiple of three, what is the probability of the complement, which means we don't do that? So there's a one in third chance that we do roll a multiple of three, so there is a two in three chance that we don't roll a multiple of three, okay? So for today, we are having a look at Venn diagrams and two-way tables, two very important uh, ways of displaying data in the probability topic. So first of all, we have Venn diagrams. So Venn diagrams are usually circular overlapping diagrams that help us sort of compare or relate two categories, all right? For an example, if I had one category being um, small fluffy animals who play the guitar, and my other category was animals with beaks who play the keyboard, well then the overlap of these two categories would be a platypus that plays the guitar. Okay, he's both fluffy and has a beak, and he's playing both a guitar and a keyboard. So there you go. You've got category A, category B, and the overlap. Here's a more mathematical example. So here are some pets categorized. We've got the dogs category is the blue circle. We've got fluffy is the uh, green circle. So we've got five dogs, we've got nine fluffy animals, and we've got 11 fluffy dogs. Okay, it's both categories. And so what would this four outside here represent? Well, this is something that's in neither category. So this is not a dog and not fluffy. So it's a really gross cat or something, I suppose. I don't know. All right, let's have a go at an example. So we have a class of 28 students. We have 21 playing cricket, 16 playing softball, and nine playing both. If we selected a student, let's pretend that just says student for me. If we selected a student at random, what is the probability they play only cricket? All right, so here is the trick with, with Venn diagrams. You have to be a bit careful with your numbers, and I'll show you why. If I put 21 in my cricket circle, and I put 16 in my softball circle, and then I put nine in my overlap, well, something's wrong here, because now if I do 21 plus nine, I get 30, and 30 plus 16 gets me 46. So how am I getting 46 when there's only 28 students in the, <laughs> pardon me, in the class? Well, the problem is that we've counted people twice, okay? There are 21 playing cricket, so this whole circle should only have 21 in it, but we've got 30. So the way we fix that is that this overlap, we just take it away from this number here, and we make it 12, okay? Now the blue circle has 12 and nine, it has 21 in total. Same thing for the green circle, we take the nine away from the 16, so we haven't counted them twice, and now this is a seven, and now it works because seven and nine make 16. So the softball circle has 16 people. Okay, so you just have to make sure that you're taking away your overlap from both categories so that no one's being counted twice. Okay? Now that we have all our numbers intact, we can answer the question. If we selected a students at random, what is the probability they play only cricket? Well, only cricket is the 12 here. So it would be 12 out of 28, all right? 12 out of 28, we can simplify that to three out of seven. Okay, so there's some practice being able to set up a Venn diagram with your numbers. Just take away the overlap from each category, okay? For the next one, we have a triple Venn diagram. We have three categories. This is comparing three types of genre or three pieces of information of movies in Quentin's movie collection. So he's got comedy movies here. He's got romantic movies in this circle and he's got movies that are over two hours in this circle here. Okay, so this four here could represent um, 
a, a movie that is both romantic and comedy. Whereas the thing in the middle here, the two, is in all three circles. So this would be a comedy movie that is romantic and over two hours. Okay, that's the idea. Okay, if he picked a movie at random from his collection, what is the probability he ends up with a movie over two hours? So if we picked a random movie, what are the chances we end up in this circle here over two hours? Well, to figure this out, first thing we need to know is how many movies Quentin has in total. So if we add up all these numbers, and if I did it correctly, we should get 55. So now we've got to ask ourselves, out of our 55 movies, how many of these are over two hours? Well, it's everything in this circle here. So it's the 11, the three, and the two, and the zero, I guess. So we've got two plus three plus 11 is 16. So our probability is 16 out of 55, okay? For question B, what's the probability we get a romantic comedy? Well, like I said, that is the overlap of comedy and romance, which is the four here, but it's also the two there. So it's actually six, okay? It's not just the four in the, it's just not the four here. We've also got the two here. So that's all the overlap of comedy and romantic. Okay, six out of 55 is our probability. And for the last one, a comedy movie, so something that's in the blue circle, that isn't romantic. So we want to be in the blue circle, but not in the green circle. Okay, so we can have this 16 here, and we can have this three here. Okay, but we can't have this four and this two because these guys are in the romantic circle. So we've got 16, we've got three, so we've got 19. So our correct answer is 19 out of 55. All right, next thing we're looking at is two-way tables. This is a alternative way of talking about categories similar to a Venn diagram, just without the circles. So here is a two-way table relating to our fluffy dog example from before, okay? So we've got the categories across the top. We've got fluffy and dogs is the overlap, that's the 11. We've got dogs that are not fluffy is the five out here, okay? Dogs, but not fluffy. We've got fluffy and not dogs is the nine. Okay, it's in this circle, but not in this circle. And then not fluffy, not dogs is outside of both circles, which is the four. Okay, so looking at these two, make sure you understand where I'm getting these four numbers from and how they relate to this diagram. All right, for an example, we have a two-way table looking at um, male and female and left or right-handed. Okay, so we've got 10 females who are left-handed. We've got five males who are left-handed, okay? So find the probability that if we pick someone at random, they would be a right-handed male. So to answer these questions, we're gonna need to fill in these three blank um, pieces of our two-way table. The way we're gonna do that is by using our totals. So if there are 10 left-handed females and five left-handed males, what is the total number of left-handed people was well, the 10 plus the 15, oh, sorry, 10 plus five gets us 15. All right, we can do the same thing here. We can say, well, we've got five plusing with whatever is in here gets us the total of 55. So this needs to be 50, which works this way as well because 39 plus 50 is 89. Okay, so the totals are going both ways if you've done it correctly. And then for the corner down here, you can either do the total this way or the total this way. No matter which way you go, you should get the correct answer of 104. Which means that in total, we asked 104 people. So if we pick someone at random, we'll be picking one of the 104 people. And how many of those are right-handed males? Right-handed males is the 50. All right, so our probability is gonna be 50 out of a total of 104. Now the next one is a bit trickier. It's saying if we picked a female at random, Okay, so we aren't picking a person at random. We aren't picking from the 104. We're picking from a female, which means our total that we're picking from is now 49 over here. Okay, if we picked a female at random, uh, what is the probability that she would be left-handed? Okay, so females, 49 in total. Left-handed is 10 of them. So our probability is going to be 10 out of 49. Probably should have simplified my answer in part A, pardon me. All right, so 10 out of 49 is our answer for B, and I'm pretty sure that can't be simplified, so we're gonna move on to the last one. For the last example, 
Like I showed you guys before, I want you to construct a two-way table that represents the information in this Venn diagram. So we have one category is late to school, one category is caught the bus, and then we've got the overlap and the outside. Pause the video, see if you can make a two-way table that represents this Venn diagram. Okay, hopefully you did that, and hopefully yours looks something like this. So we have caught the bus and late is the 13, it's the overlap. Caught the bus and not late is the three out here. Okay, it's in the caught the bus, but it's not in the late to school circle. Late but didn't catch the bus is the seven over here outside the green circle. And then didn't catch the bus and wasn't late is the nine, which is outside of both circles, okay? All right, that's it for today. So if that makes sense, for my class, you can get started on the task in math space I've assigned for you. There'll be one today and one later in the week. And that's it for today. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.